this is an amazing theater costume, which had been in storage for a long, long time. We were having an exhibition dedicated to Vivian Lee um, in the aftermath of us receiving her archive. And um, so it was an opportunity to focus on this actress. We did a, a front of silk to indicate maybe the underdress so that we don't see the body or the pole of the mannequin. And that was just enough to, to display the cape at slight angle showing the train. On display, it was very effective. So this costume was in quite a sorry state. These feathers, uh, cloth feathers, were really folded and creased. In fact, you can see a little bit of that yet. So I used the cold poultice technique. Uh, basically, it's a kind of sandwich with moisture gradually going up and relaxing the fibers under a slight uh, tension, which I create with my glass weights. I'm going to prepare my layers. Uh, I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to introduce the barrier so the moisture doesn't go to areas that are not intended. So, okay. okay. And this is blotting paper, which I'm going to moist with a fine spray. moist blotting paper uh, which is cut to the right size for the area I'm going to treat. Here it says fold, I want to get rid of it and I'm going to put it underneath my membrane which is going to uh, relax it very gently and then finally the polyethylene barrier. So I've got my sandwich ready and I'm going to slide it underneath Again, there is a stitching here, but I know I have enough space. And in order to accelerate this process, I'm going to put it under the weight and the slight tension. Yeah. So, so this goes there, and then my membrane will control the flow of the um, of the water, of the moisture. Another piece. Okay. Okay. So then I lay the textile. And I don't want to pierce the membrane because then the moisture will go more, uh, through that hole more aggressively and I don't want to do that. Everything has to be quite controlled. So I'm going to use the weights and the slight tension to flatten it. And then I can cover it again. And that will create a chamber trapping the moisture underneath, so working it more effectively. And I can get rid of the creases and the folds. And that's a, the same method I use for all the lower sections. This was trickier, so actually here I had to use kind of floating cold poultices, holding like that and holding them at the side with clips and then letting the floating chamber work on the on section per section because uh, they're all stitched together still. But fortunately, these ones, which were loose, I could work them out there as, as, a, as a group. The main body of the um, cape, you see, is very thin in areas. There isn't very much I could do about that. 
apart from when it goes on display I, with my spatula, I tidy the loose floats and, um, and align them again. But um, I, um, it would be too interventive to start couching on them and I, cre I will create tensions which will probably distort the effect. So I wouldn't attempt to start couching all those floats. And I think with careful handling, we can, we can live with that. When she opened and closed the cape, there was a lot of handling in this area. So this also has a, a wider net area, which I've um, zigzagged onto the original to keep in place. 